What's going on guys? National Master James Canty the third here and today we're covering mastering the Philidor position in under 10 minutes. This is a must know position guys so you can save in games where you may think that you're lost and uh, I mean that's basically it guys. You got to make sure that you know these in games. These in games are extremely important and if you don't know these in games well now you're going to learn today. We have a playlist as well here on the channel for you guys. So you actually can uh, look at the other in-game studies here. So if we look at this, it's actually black to move. But white's going this way. He's trying to queen. So if we make weird moves, and stuff's not going to work here. Like, we're going to lose. So let's take a look at a few lines here. Let's look at uh, rook to e1. On rook to e1, um, shouldn't that just be king to, to e6? King d6. King d6. Let's go, like, check... King e6, king f8, rook eight, rook check, king g7. Yeah, he's already losing. He's already losing here. The problem in these kind of in-games, guys, is that there you don't have a system. You don't have a system. And, you know, um, one of my coaches told me this, too. You need to have a system in chess here, a systematic way of, th of doing things, a systematic way of thinking. In the Philidor position, that is a systematic way of uh, holding a draw. Of, of almost forcing a draw in a way there's a way to do it guys and it starts right here right now with this move now you probably could make a draw here according to the engine with rook to e1 but it's very difficult still and you need to be accurate afterwards and you know who's who knows you may make a mistake just moving a rook to one wrong square and the game could be over but if you have a system or something to look for every single time you're just going to always remember this is what i do and then when this happens this is what i do that's it. Nothing in between. Very, very easy. So let's look at let's look at this, guys, and let's uh, let's come up with a solution here. I want you to pause the video and I want you to see what would you do in this position with black. Where would you move? Now, when you get back to the video, here it is. Okay, first part of the system. Okay, is cutting the king off. Cut the king off. So rook to h6. I was doing some commentary on a match with two fide masters. It was, they were very strong, right? And this position came up. Very similar, right? Philidor position. And one of them failed to hold the draw. I was like, wow. Fide Master. Didn't even know the Philidor position. Unbelievable. You guys are going to know the Philidor, the Philidor position today. You have to cut the king off. Cut the king off from advancing. So let's make some random moves. You're not even random, but just like shuffling. Okay, we go here. Well, we can do the same. We're just going to go back here. How about rook here? Okay, we'll go to the other side of the board. I'm keeping him cut off. You will not advance anytime today, any day, any way. No advance. No advancement at all. Doesn't matter. I don't care what you do. I don't care. Okay, other way, other side. Oh, oh. You're not, you're not going to cross this one, okay? You're not going, and if we do this, then that just fails, right? And now we have a classic draw here. This is easy to face. We know how to draw this one here, guys. We know how to draw that. Okay. Cut, cut the king off. That's step one. There's no progress. He can't make any progress with white. Cut the king off, okay? So let's go back to the beginning. Cut the king off. He can't advance. So after he realizes this, after we do some shuffling... I'm just trying to figure out life here. Um, they pushed the pawn because they're like, okay, I can't make any progress. I can't I can't move anything. I can never like get my king up here. I don't have any shelter for my king to move up. So they pushed the pawn. And as soon as they pushed the pawn, guys, it's two steps to the Philidor. Cut the king off. And then as soon as they push, go to the back rank and check, 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 check. Cut the king off. As soon as they push the pawn. Go to the back rank and check into oblivion. Check forever in a day. Check all day, every day. Checks everywhere in any way in all day. Okay, you're going to check them. E6, and we go to the back rank. Now, there is no shelter for the king. This is absolutely a draw in every way, shape, and form here, guys. It's draw everywhere. Everywhere is a draw. There's no shelter for the king. This, he would love to be shielded by his pawn, but unfortunately, he can't. My king's here. You can't, you can't ever get here with your king. And if you try to advance, okay, there's a check. All right, go this way. I'll actually step up. So that's a draw. Easy. Okay, well, how about this way? Check. How about this way? Oh, well, 
You guessed it. Check. How about here? Uh, let me think about that. Check. How about here? Uh, what day is it? Check. Everything is a check. Check here. Check here. Check again. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's a blunder. And we hit the pawn. And we get the pawn, guys. It's very simple. Once you break it down like this, it's very, very simple from the beginning here. If you have a position like this, very similar. The pawn has not crossed into the sixth or the third rank usually. Usually you have problems when they get that close, but they're not that close. And because they're not, you do have the choice. Cut the board off. The king cannot advance. There's nothing to do. They're going to try to progress as much as possible, but they just can't. So they push the pawn after so much trying to pry and push and like, okay, let's try to trick them. Nothing works. Push the pawn. We go to the back rank and we check into oblivion. If we go here, rook check, rook here, rook takes, takes, and this is an easy draw, guys. Straight back, opposition. Straight back, actually, sorry. Isn't that, yeah, this is still a draw. I saw this before with a student and I was like, that's still a draw. That was weird, but uh, you have to be careful. You have to be careful, yeah. I guess both ways are still dry. There they are. But after king here, this is the way you want to do. You want to always step in front of the pawn. Don't give him any space. Just try to step right in front of the pawn here. Straight back, opposition. If they try to trick you, uh, go back to the same square. Okay, how about this way? This way, same thing. Okay, opposition. And one more time here. Opposition, and then into a draw. Easy game, guys. From the beginning, one more time, fill the door position under 10 minutes. Mastering it, guys, mastering it. Okay, bring the rook here, cut the king off. King can't advance. Easy. Easy. Once he gets frustrated and, like, I can't do anything, he's going to push. As soon as he pushes, go to the back rank and just sit and look and wait and smile. Sip your coffee if you got some. This is over. We're going to be here for a while. Check, 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 check. And this is how you master the fill the door position, guys. I'm going to put this in the YouTube playlist for the end games, guys. I highly recommend you watch those. Thanks so much for watching this video today. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already so you can catch when we get all the updates here, guys. Like, share this video, put the comments under there. Really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Check out the new course I just dropped like two days ago, the C3 Cecile for the kill. It is finally out, the C3 Cecilian crushing black with the c3 cecilia and uh really appreciate it guys thank you so much um follow the links under the video guys i'll see you on the next one